Mm, that swimsuit, though. Too bad I'm pretty sure it's behind paywall for what people tell me. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, you're one and only. Welcome back to some more Destiny Child. You know, I'm a little bit late with this one. You, you, you can get off my back, okay? I've been having so many games to play. Overhit has gotten me addicted. <laughs> but yeah, I still play Destiny Child. I mostly just um, stream and play this on my other phone while I'm playing a different game. I wanted to see the opening to this, though. At least the opening. I was trying to, like, finish it all in one video. Oh, God. Mona's ran off. That's not a good thing. <laughs> wow yeah, that's pretty much facts from what we've seen through multiple stories Really? No one, when you read Lisa's like dialogue, all you just read is like a calm type voice for her. Her dialogue just seems very calm all the time. God, now Davi's going to be annoying about it. <laughs> now that I think about it, most people do see it that way. Of Master and Mona. Okay, we're going to go over to uh, the Dead or Alive characters like abilities after this too. Oh god, this man again. Wait, did he write down the ho 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 part? In the invitation? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> So that's the opening, huh? Okay. Seems like we have something else over here. Okay, so we got stamina and stuff. Okay, I have plenty of time to still do this. So basically just grind these uh, volleyballs and get Kasumi. From what I heard, they did change the characters, the Dead or Alive characters. So, yeah, they might not be as good as the Korean and Japanese version. What's inside of this card, my guy? Be something good. God damn it. <laughs> That's not what I mean about something good. Okay, so we got challenges and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. I want the step up banner. I'm not even sure if I want to do that. I mean, last step up banner. Ugh. Oh boy. Last step up banner for like the Mikus were fucking trash. 
I'm gonna just say that now. He has barely increased the chance of it, but I guess that's fine. Okay, let's do some summons. And right after we read the skills, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, so Rose, let's see what you have. All right, your first skill is slide up in defense, increase against skill damage. Okay, nice, nice. Removes after 24 seconds or upon three hits. So that's gonna disappear pretty quick. All right, your second skill is your slide skill. Okay, so you have fortitude on two allies and it's silence evasion. That's gonna be really good against uh, Olga. Okay, your drive. Hits two enemies and gain defense increase along with dot damage debuff evasion for, oh, for five characters. That's going to be actually really good because we have been getting destroyed by a lot of DPS. Like, well, no, a lot of dot damage type, like braids and stuff like that. Like, this has been, like, really damn strong for no reason. But... Yeah, that's going to be really good, that drive at least. I'm not going to say the 4-2 is not useful, because it is, because we've learned that pretty easy. But this one only blocks two hits instead of three, so it's not as good as um our angel character, whatever her name is. Sprex? Something like that? Her leader, slight skill defense against enemies with wood type. Oh, four wood type allies. Let's see. Pretty pretty good, to be honest. She's a tank, right? Yeah, defender. Kasumi. Alright. So deal with extra damage to poison targets for your first skill, your slide skill. The slide skill ignores defense to three enemies. Has a chance of stunning for one second or more. Maximum of five for four seconds when hit with a crit critical hit. Okay. That's actually not bad. To be honest, that's actually really good uh, crowd control. But I'm pretty sure from what people tell me, it's probably stronger or should be stronger with like the Korean version or Japanese version, or they probably have a completely different skill. But actually not too bad. Okay. So the drive skill deals damage up to four enemies, deals bonus damage, or evade increase by 40% for two for 20 seconds. Huh. Hmm. So it's basically a 50-50 chance of going between those. I mean, that's not too bad, to be honest. That's actually not really all that bad. Because either you get additional damage or you just evade <laughs> for 20 seconds. Alright, 10% damage to water allies. Not not too bad to be honest. For this game at least. <laughs> or this version at least. Not like completely trash, but definitely not completely good. Okay, let's see. Okay, so she's support, right? Yeah, I played a little bit of this character. Okay, let's see. Cover HP to the lowest ally, but that's up to one. Your second skill regens for 14 seconds and gain skill gauge increase if a crit occurs. Okay, that's actually not that bad. But you do have to rely on crits a lot, so you would probably want a crit leader at best. And I'll show you guys a pretty good one actually right now. A pretty good crit leader that I've seen so far that's pretty much universal. If you guys are looking for more of a leader instead of like skill wise, is this character. So far, she has the best crit leader. 10% to, to all. As for just increasing crit for the person with the highest attack, if you can get either Kasumi or her to the highest attack, would be Pantheon. So, yeah, but that's the highest attackers. It's not like random or 
prioritize to anybody else, just the uh, highest attacker. So it's gonna be kind of difficult to do that with Pantheon. So I would recommend trying to get the other character up for like leader. But let's see, what is that drive looking like? Damage to two enemies, regen for 16 seconds, okay. And crit increase for 20 seconds for all five allies. All right, pretty universal. Her leader though, crit, crit chance for fire units. Okay, that, that could actually be really good for putting it on her, making her leader so you can proc this a lot more often and get that, uh, and get that uh, skill gauge. So yeah, instead of uh, Rumble, she's gonna be really useful as a leader. So she's not too bad. None of the characters are like overly trash. They just, they're just like meh. <laughs> That's all I can say, they're like meh. But design wise, not half bad. But let me go take a look at this whole skin thing. Because people have been in an uproar about this. Oh. $44 for... Whoops. Oh, they all have skins. Okay. Yeah, the prices are pretty high. And that's pretty much it. So is it a chance of getting these? Is that what we're looking at? Inside of this box? Oh yeah, that's pretty much next to $200. Yeah, that's basically next to $200 if you want all six copies. I think you get the costume with it naturally, though. I think maybe the first package? I'm not sure, because I'm not a well. If any wells know how that works, let me know. Because <laughs> I, I think I'm good. <laughs> all right, let's summon and get Kasumi. That's at least the only character I want because I want that uh, stun. Okay. Maybe we should skip because it stops us when, once we get like a five star. All right, next. Up. Oh, this is a five star. Oh no, that's just skipping animation. Oh, we got a five star. Who is it? Okay, it's you. I actually need another copy of her. And nothing we need there. Four star to start off, no five. At least wanted to try and get some copies of Katsumi. Milestone reached. Do I want to continue? Hold up. Oh, milestone is done. All right, nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and do the fifth step. So we get a soul, a soul card after that. Okay, what we got? What five star are you giving me? Ah, oh, shit, Diana. I'll take that. Been looking for copies of her. Also, oh, it takes me back to step three. It turns to step, to step three and go again. Okay.
Up, oh, four star right off the bat. Not too much luck out of the summon, but I'm happy I got Diana at, at least. Okay. That's pretty much all I can do. I don't want to say it's a complete bust, but you know, hey. What we get? Meh. Not good. Because curse damage is kind of doo doo water. <laughs> That region isn't half bad. Four to five, can I get a five star please? You know, that'd be odd. Nope, okay, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> Blind evasion. That could actually be good. Uh, let's see, I didn't even know that we had new ones. Petrify evasion, which you won't see too often unless you're going up against a, um, Moma. Momo? Moa? Moa Moa? Whichever one it was. Damn, that's a lot of HP back for just to be an enemy. That's actually pretty decent. Still that. Okay, so yeah. That's one of the new ones. Another new one. I haven't grabbed this one yet, apparently. Final crit. The hell's final crit? I have no idea what the hell final crit is. But alright. That's pretty much it. Gotta say, the event's not too bad, but... Eh. It's also not too good. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys want to summon on the banners, I think Kasumi would probably be the best one to go for next to uh, Rose. I would say least priority is this one. Unless you're going to for like a PvP team. But yeah, least priority is that one. As for my raid progress. Oops. Get out of here. There we go. Our raid progress has been going pretty good unfortunately i have not been getting any like copies man i haven't been getting any like five stars out of these which really suck but yeah people have taught me that it's better just to save like 20 raids for each upcoming day just be like basically save 20 now and once the day restarts you pretty much use that 20 just to get all the chests. So you basically keep that cycle going. All right, let's see what five star we get out of this. Help me finish a character I already have, please. I say no new characters. Thank you. Since I'm pretty sure our next Ragnar Break event will be the water one which I who boy I'm dedicating my whole life and soul into that one wait where is she did I pass him already I don't think I did there he is yeah I don't have any copies of you so that's perfect I'm definitely planning on getting you to level 60, though. Finally, Diana, you got a copy. My gal. Finally. Took us a while, but you got a copy. <laughs> I can finally up that skill of yours, man. Now it could take a little bit more damage. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm just now catching up with this event because I've been putting it off for like a while, just because I had so much I wanted to record, and I've been mostly focusing on 
Rag to Break, and so many new games have started to come out and stuff like that, and it's just been overburdened, let's just say that. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Uh, just remember, I don't really stream Destiny Child much anymore. It's more of like when I'm streaming something else, I play it on the side just to finish raids. But you guys can still feel free to come around, talk with me, and I will still cover like updates and new events, collabs, stuff like that if I can. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.